Hey guys, remember when Bobox sent me this package right here, the wireless HDMI? Well, they get, sent me another part for you guys to check out. Stay tuned to see what it is. Hey guys, it's your boy Junior here bringing you another great video to the channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you like all my videos, you share my videos, comment all my videos, and make sure you hit that subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Cause trust me guys, you never ever would have missed out. And my returning subscribers, make sure you do all those steps too because that helps the channel a lot as well by giving me more exposed, the more we expose, the more we can make more videos like this and they, they don't miss out just like you're not missing out. All right guys, like I mentioned in the beginning, you remember when Bobox sent me this HDMI extender receiver, Wi-Fi receiver, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> which is a pretty cool device. Like you, you take one of these boxes right here, this, this will be the receiver and this will be the transmitter. I'm not gonna hook up the antenna, so because it makes no sense for me to do the antennas. Uh, but the antennas will go right here, and basically you put your whatever you want to transmit, your camera, your gaming system, whatever it is, you put it right here to transmit, and then you connect this receiver to the TV. So you have a wireless connection, so you can use the HDMI and go as far as you want up to 656 feet or 220 meters, however you want to look at it. But yeah. This is pretty cool because I, this is cool to have because let's say you're recording something and you like I use the example of a church because that's the first place I ever saw this at a church. Um, if you want to like display something on the screen while you're recording it, this will work good. Now, this is awesome and this is all wireless all through its own wireless signal. And it's cool. It's very cool. It's a cool box. It has a lot of stuff to it. But the people at Bobox sent me a new device they came up with which is almost the same concept, but it's a little bit different. They sent me this box right here, and this is the same concept, but it's not wireless. It's through CAD cabling. So it's IP to IP and everything. You can connect it to your router and, and hard code it in, so you can go ahead and use it wirelessly, somewhat wirelessly, all right? So what do I mean by all that? All right, so let's open the box and show you what's inside here first. All right, so the box right here says bow box right here, like I did before. And as you see, this box is smaller, it's a little different, more design. It has this little nice little color feature right on the front. On the side gives you the specs right here. And over here is the barcode, over here is nothing. On the bottom is nothing. So basically this is the bow box HD over IP extender. So everything's run through is IP. There's many ways you could do this to run IP. I'm not gonna set it up and show you how it looks and everything, but for me, I don't have the, the area to do it in, but I'm gonna explain what it does and how it works. So basically you open this up. So we're gonna open this up so we can unbox it so you can see what it's inside. All right. All right, once you open it, you'll be welcome with this right here. All right, let me just close here so you can see. You come with this little manual right here, which is pretty cool. It has all the instructions here you need, but it's only like five pages of stuff that you need to read if you need to read it. All right, and then in the box, you got these two little boxes right here. It's really cool. All right, so the box right here, you have your, this is the transmitter and your receiver. And you guys are wondering, how does this work? All right, as you can see, they have the loop around for their transmitter. So you're, you're transmitting something here, but you still want to have the output going to the original source of your outsource. There you go, right there you have it. And here's the receiver. So basically you hook up the HDMI here, let it transmit and this is the receiver. So actually how you hook these two up together is very simple, it's over IP like I mentioned in the name. Basically if you look in the back of these devices, you see that they have RJ45 CAT connection in the back and they got the power cable. You see the power cable right on this side and the RJ45 on this side right here. So it's very simple, that's how you hook it up. So how you hook it up, with the RJ45, it's two, there's actually a couple ways to do it, but the easiest way is wire to wire connection. Simple. Because if you think about it, when people run cables for a business or something, and you wanna run 
keep it from one end to the other. It's very easy. It's, you run a little thing wire it's smaller than my finger and you run it through wherever you want. And then once you get to the destination, you create the plug at the end, which is very simple. Very simple. I do it all the time. Well, used to, not anymore. Cause I, I just stay all wirelessly myself. And this is, that way is better than running a HD, a long HDMI cable. Cause HDMI cable only runs so long. You guys know that. You either get a, a hundred foot, 50 foot, whatever foot. But a RJ45 cable can run as long as you want. I, I believe it's up to 3000 feet. I forget my computer school, college years on the specs on that, but there's a limit of length, but it's a lot longer than HDMI. And it's easier to run it through the walls and everything wherever you want to run it to because why? Because the cable is about the size of my pinky right here. It's even smaller than that. So once it gets to the other side, you make the cable connection and that's it. With the HDMI, they don't make separate cables for it. They really don't. You can't create your own HDMI cable at the end of the, each connection. You can't just create, get the wire and create the end. Well, technically you can, if you want to sit there and solder and do all that good stuff, you really could. But that's up to you if you want to do that. That's just a lot of work. It's easier to run with the RJ45 cable. To me, that's so much easier. So instead of buying a 100 foot cable, 200 foot cable of uh, HDMI, which gives you the, I think the biggest they give is a hundred, I believe. I, I can be wrong, but with the Cat Five cable, you can run up to three thousand feet. In my, I think that's what it is. Again, I forget the specs on it, and it's easier. So you can do a Cat connection to Cat connection, put it on one end, put it on the other, end, and then run it through, and it and it creates a connection for you. Very simple. Another way you could connect these two, still using the RJ45 connection. One way to do it is connected to your router or your modem and connect it there with a splitter or a router. You connect it there, you leave it under there, hook it up to your TV or hook it up to whatever outsource you want to receive it. You hook it up, perfect. Now you're saying, but my router is here. How do I can connect to the other side? So they sell these devices called Wi-Fi extenders or power cable internet connection. And you can, you can run basically ethernet cable through your power of your wall power you connect and it creates a RJ45 connection at the other end of the power plug. You can do it that way. Those are the two ways you can hook these up. I think these are good if you have hardwired your whole place. Let's say this is good for a business. It's very good for business. Cause let's say you have something connected to your computer that connects on the desk. You have an RJ45 connection on your desk, you know, for presentation. And then you have a, a projector Let's say on the roof, on the, I mean, not the roof, on the ceiling or on the wall, you have a big screen that you have a cable running already there for RJ45 connection there. You can hook that up to there and boom, there you go. You have the RJ35 connection and it really works really well. For personal use at home, I wouldn't recommend this. I would still stick with the, the Wi-Fi this one and which is i think is better for for home personal use for business use this is really awesome and very time consuming and price consuming because these are a lot cheaper than these down here guys and if you did want to get these i'll leave a link down below so where you can get them and once you get them you can enjoy them simple as that so i did show you the two boxes to see what else comes inside this box here so i'm gonna take out the the, the phone right here I took the foam out with the two boxes there, so I don't want to lose it. And right here, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And as you see, you have the two power blocks. Oh, you can't really see there. You have oh, <laughs> almost dropped it. You have the two power blocks right here for the power connection, and then you got the two wires for the power source for each box. And of course, they provide two on uh, three and a half millimeter jacks for the IR connections right there. There's two of them right there. And that's it inside this box, guys. You got the two power blocks, you got the two USB cables, and you got the two IR connections. Very, very simple. And guys, that's it for today's video. And I know it's a very short one. There's not really much to go over. And like I said, guys, I'm not gonna do a full reel on this because I don't, make, I don't think it makes sense for me to go ahead and do this around my house, which I'm not gonna ever gonna use it because I don't have wires running through the whole house 
I don't have the power internet jacks on each end, like I mentioned for hard power wire connection. I don't have that. So I'm not gonna use this. I could use it if I did wanna run a whole Cat5 connection from this side of the room all the way to the other side and I could connect it box to box, very simple. All right, but that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support that you guys love to show the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring, and we want to make sure that everyone's aware of everything we talk about on this channel so they don't miss out just like you're not missing now. And also, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you still haven't done so to the end of this video, Hit the subscribe button, enable bell notifications so you get notified every time you drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Because trust me, guys, you never, ever want to miss out. And that's it for today, guys. Until next time, I'm out of here. Peace.